This is a reaction to a video made by Sarah's reality about being married to a widow. Before I came across that video, in fact, I'm a subscriber, I watch her videos a lot because she talks a lot about real life reality. Things that happen to people, her own experiences. You know, sometimes in this life, when you are talking about certain things that people have not experienced, they tend to like, what are you saying? And some persons know this tradition and they just want to cover it up. Sincerely speaking, if you are one of those persons, I don't think it's a good thing. And you should know that most of this tradition, especially Igbo's tradition, in fact, uh, mo not even especially Igbo's, most traditions are to the detriment, are to the, I don't know, I don't just know the terms to use. Women are the ones who suffer it most. A man will lose his wife. In one month, he has finished money, he's married, they can marry the next one. But a woman will go through so many processes. They even want to kill that woman simply because she lost her husband. I'm going to play a clip of that video from Sandra's reality about a woman who was married to the dead. Us and she has to with us, so let's go into the video. So guys, uh, it's time for her to tell us her brief story. I just, she will be speaking in Igbo while I interpret in English for the benefit of those of you that don't understand um, Igbo. Yeah. So, why am I? She said her name is Stella and Chebe. Um, these are your children. That one of them. She said these are her children. When we enjoyed you, when we met and you told me your story, you told me that you were married for a dead person. I'm not going to lie. I'll be asking her questions because I don't know if she does not know how to express it. I'll be asking her questions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll be asking her questions and she'll be explaining, answering me. So, what she is not I will give you a new one. I will give you a new one. And when we were back on the Zimu, when you came into the family, as in, you already know, and you don't know the man, as in, you don't know the man, you don't know the man, you have never seen him. Even till now, as if you've never seen his picture or you don't know how he looks like. Yeah. The man, and the man that you are married to. The man will be best. Okay. But I know me, and nobody. Yeah. You did the normal tradition as a widow, and you started living with the family. Okay. So now, you know, which I can, you know, you know, you know. So now, we are not the family. When you came into the family, how did they treat you? I am not Okay. Now, in the taking moment, and I heard I know that na eight plots of land your husband did. Really, yeah. Really, do you think I Eight plots of land that her husband left behind. Her late husband, the very first husband that she was married for. They sold the eight plots of land. I mean, the family members and. No, no, no one is remaining. No one came for you. No one came for you. Who is here? I'm from Enugu State. From Enugu State. Yes, I don't Enugu State. You can. You can. You can. And the only thing I'm not doing, I'm not going to go to the hospital. Your parents, are they aware that you are being married for the hammer? Yes. Okay. And the hand could take. The hand could take. No. Okay. Then who was on change? I'm not going to go to the hospital. When they are selling this to your husband's land, when did they not say let them give you small money? Maybe to start business or maybe to build you a house? I'm a boy, man. I'm a boy. You know, from you, you were telling them to give you small money from the money of the land, but they did not agree. And until they sold the whole eight plus of land. You guys. Man, I wish I can film this video because I'm getting high emotional like, right now. Because I can understand. And the same man that sold all the land is still the same man that was sleeping with you and you have all these children. Uh, and you did not go to school, Abby? Which level? 
We finished secondary school. Yes. And up till now, there was the, the man did not open any bank account for you. No. The man did not open any bank account for you. No. Maybe to put some money there for you and your children. No, he not open anything. He not open anything. No. It is well. Many guys. It is well. Okay, I heard that this same man built upstairs for his wife, yes. his main wife yes. that he married, yes. and he also built some other houses, yes. and he was doing business. Yes. So his own job is just come and sleep with you and you have children. Yes. Okay. It is well. You guys, um, I still want to ask her another question. Okay, now, what is the age gap between you and that man that was taking care of you? Because I learned that the man's um, first daughter was is about 40 now. Yes. The man's first daughter is about 40, and he's still the one that has the for you. Yes. In the name of that dead man. Um, okay, so you are here now in the name of that dead man yes. that you have never seen. Yes. Okay. Anyways, I thank God that I met you. And I thank God that when I heard your story... She was married to the dead. And in fact, I don't even blame the family. I blame a parent who allowed their daughter to be married to a man who is dead. Like, seriously? In this modern world, how can somebody... If the man wanted children, he should have married before he died. So I see no reason why the family members relatively want to get a wife for somebody that is dead and bring somebody from the family to come and be sleeping with her to get her pregnant. And you leave that woman with the children. In this case, when I watched this video, I cried. I was hot. I was hot to the... To, I don't know. I said, inside of me, I was boiling because it's wickedness from the pit of hell. And selfish reason. And we as women, we should stand for our right. We should stand for our fellow women. We should not allow such things to happen. Okay, why won't they bring a man to get to get a woman pregnant because a woman died without having children? Let's be sincere. When a woman will die, nobody does anything. But because a man died and they don't want his line to float, and so bloody what? If he wanted his lineage to live to, to live to eternity, he should have gotten married before dying, get married and have children on time. So if you decide not to get married and have children, why subject a woman to that? And parents, please, for the sake of God, for the sake of what you hold sacred and what you believe in, stop giving out your children to families to come and marry them for someone who, are, who is dead. I know that you guys, I know that with this video that you've listened to, you've watched, I will not play, it's, a, it's so painful, it's so painful that a woman was married to a dead man, has five children, nothing to take care of her. If it's not as a result of Sandra's, um, Sandra's reality, her foundation, who is taking care of this woman, I don't know what will become her, become, become the fate of herself and, her, and those beautiful children. Like, seriously? And before I continue this video, if you have any way you can help and support that foundation, please, you can contact me and I will send you her address so that you can help her directly. It's no good. She, and I thank God that God is using her to help this young lady. She has a good phone me account. I will put it in the description so that if you want to help, you can send it and all those tell is coming from Kali and Daniel's space. They are coming from there. It's no good. It's wickedness. It's wickedness. Selfish reason. Women stand for yourself we should learn to stand for ourselves and when we see some 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 things that look like this that are bad we should be able to stand for those persons who cannot talk for themselves imagine a young girl suffering so much because she was married to the dead she was made not just that she was married to the dead she was made to come and mourn that one that has died and did not even know if she's existed and a man from the family was getting her pregnant and when that man also died she was made to mourn that one as well at a young age, mourning to husband, one that is dead that he didn't even know. 
and another one that was coming to impregnate you. And the worst part that they, they just brought her to the house. No proper arrangement, nothing for her to be able to cater for the children. Is that not wickedness? Is that not wickedness? Let's be sincere. So a person is saying, Akali, you've come again. Yes, I have come again because I don't like when people, when women are treated like trash. And please, Igbos, stop that tradition. Stop it. Because this video, I don't know for Yoruba, so I don't know for how sad, but this video that I shared with you guys is happening, or it's happened in Anambra State. And it's not only Anambra State. It was in general. It was in general. Please stop that. Stop that. Stop subjecting your daughters to such kind of predicament, such kind of emotional, psychological, and physiological trauma. Please stop it. It's not good. Are you directly telling us that women are nothing? Are you directly telling us that women are trash? Are you directly saying that women are some kind of property that you just go and pick from, from, from somewhere and use as much as you can? Sister, brother, auntie, stop it. If you're a woman in that family, please stop it because I know you will not allow your daughter to be subjected to that kind of tradition. Stop it. All those women are that in evil land. Come together. It's not only to come and share meat. It's not only to come and collect money during bright price, um, this, during marriage ceremony. You not only come and share meat and collect money during funeral. These are the kind of things you guys should come together and put a stop to it and tell the men that enough is enough. Enough is enough. We are a modern world. We are in a civilized generation. And parents, I don't know why in God's name that you will give out your child. You will give out your daughter. To a man that is dead, to a family to come and marry her for a dead man, a child that you born I most, especially the mothers, how can you sub allow that kind of rubbish? Because it's absolutely rubbish as far as I'm concerned. Please stop it, stop it for the sake of God, for the sake of Christ, for the sake of anything you call sacred. Stop it, stop subjecting young ladies to ca that kind of barbaric tradition. It's no good. It's not good at all at all. I'm not in support of that. And that is why I'm making this video. To enlighten people out there. Because some persons will say, no, it's not their traditional. In Igbo, they don't do this. Sister, they'll do that because this thing happened in Anambra State. Anambra is an evil, evil state in Nigeria. Please stop it. It's not good. Stop it. You bring four children. You can't even tell them who their father is. I don't know why. I don't just know why people why people don't seem to drop some cultures. And particular what me you know why I know you guys will say I'm angry. Yes, I'm angry because this this most of the traditions that they, they have in most places in Africa, it's not only in Nigeria, in Africa, is only for women. They do those traditions to subject a woman to unnecessary rubbish. We women too. We, we are to be blamed. Um, what are you doing there? You come there, you share, collect money, you share drink, you calculate your number of beer, your number, your number of this, and you collect and go. And the things you're supposed to discuss, the things you're supposed to stop, you keep quiet. If you're among those set of women who agree and who support that kind of rubbish, please stop it. The earlier, the better we'll stand up for ourselves. The better for us. If not, men will continue to see us women as trash. They will continue to see us women as some kind of property. And we are not. We are equal with them before God. Because that is God created us in all likeness. In the same way. That God said a man is the head of the woman. Doesn't mean that the woman is trash. If you remove the neck, the woman is the head. The woman is the neck. If you remove the head, the, I mean, so if you remove the neck, the head cannot stand. If you remove the body, the head cannot stand. Let's be sincere. Let's go and cut, cut, cut off your head. Let me know if your head can stand without the body. The woman is the body of the man. So if you, the men should learn to treat their women with respect, especially in evil land, treat your women with respect. I know some families don't tolerate that. Some families are not into that kind of barbaric tradition. But if you know you are from that kind of a family, please stop it. It's not good. 
Stop subjecting your daughters to such kind, that kind of um, trauma. It's not good. It's not a good one. And I, this video is getting too long because I'm getting so angry right now. I would like to end this video. I don't know if you are from... I don't know what your culture and tradition is, but if this kind of things happen in your culture and your tradition, I'll be glad to know. And please, let's put hands together as women to stop things that affect us as women. Eh? It's not good. We are human beings. We have the same blood that flows through the men's veins. We should not allow the men to see us as some kind of... I don't know. Please. And at this point, you haven't subscribed to this channel. I don't know what you're waiting for. Please subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.